Spider sense is tingling. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's two clicks from KO. All right, everybody. Uh, Zarin from Two Clicks from KO. Uh, we're gonna today make a quick and dirty tutorial on how to use the Roll20 website to play Hero Clicks. Um, so I know some of you have seen uh, the Majestics videos and maybe the March Madness um, tournament stuff that we did earlier this year. And you guys are wondering how do you do this? So I'm gonna, I'm going to attempt to make this easy for you to learn and um, just do a quick tutorial for you. So the three things you're gonna need, obviously, are Roll Twenty. Uh, as you can see, I'm signed up here as two clicks. Um, it's free to sign up, really quick, just an email and a and a username, and you're done. Um, you're gonna need the unit section from hcrealms.com. Um, HC Realms units. You can see here the units. Here's the the URL if you want. And lastly, you'll need the HeroClix map viewer made by. Well, this one's done by Claywood, uh, part of the Team Majestics. And uh, as you can see, it's current up to 15th anniversary. What if um, maps? Um, he does a really good job of keeping these up to date. So. Um, these are the three things you'll need. I'll put links in the description below so you guys can easily access them. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into Roll20. After we've logged in, we're going to go to My Games, um, My Games, start a new game. You can also see it was over here. Game name. So, this is really important here because this is how you know. Um, which game to join so let's say if I was going to play Patrick from Majestics Patrick Epoca, I would say Patrick Y and I would say I'm ready to create game okay it's gonna load some stuff um, okay ask you if you want to do a walkthrough I'm not gonna do a walkthrough um, you guys may want to uh, it's been a while since I've done this, so I'm going to be a little bit rusty, but we'll get through it. Okay? So, you'll notice you have a gridded um, sheet here. You have your your box here, your text box. Um, it has some instructions here, so like you'll see how, this is how you roll 2d6. So, you could go uh, roll 2d6 and a roll, and you can see I rolled a 4 plus a 2 to equal a 6. And then you can just type like hi, um, stuff like that. So here's your page toolbar. You're going to bring that down and you're going to go to page settings. Um, we're going to disable the grid and then we're going to click OK. Now you might ask, why are we disabling the grid? It's because it will try and snap pictures to the grid and we don't want that. Um, for in this particular instance so what we're gonna need is we're gonna need a map right every hero clicks game must be played on a hero clicks map so for this one you're just gonna say Arthur's castle is the map we're gonna use I'm going to right click well one tip on this when you click you can see you add little units things so I would suggest clicking in a square and then right clicking in it to get your image without it and go save image as now I have a folder just for roll 20 so that's a tip that I would say to use and then we'll just save as Arthur's castle and we're gonna close that we're gonna go back to roll 20 and then we're going to go to art library now we have nothing except for my thing so we're gonna go upload choose a file um, we'll go to our roll 20 images and we'll upload Arthur's castle and now you can see we have Arthur's castle now we're gonna drag that over here 
clearly that's not big enough. And then we need to stretch it. Stretch it. Oh. And it can go even bigger. Now, you can see this is pretty wide. So something else you can do, what I normally do is I'll go into paint or, you know, and do a quick edit, just taking off the whites on the sides. So it would look like one of these. So it look more like this. <clears throat> this is the Blue Line ROC map by Grid Reality. Let's close that. So then you can see for stretching it, it's a lot easier to do. Let's go to the top of the page. Okay. So there, now we've got our map. Uh, this is your zoom. You can zoom in or out. Um, so that's a nice thing. So we're going to... We're going to right click, layer, and we're going to make this our map layer. So now when we put stuff down, this will be basically like a background. Um, and then like the character, you'll see characters go on top. So the next thing you'll know we need is characters, right? So where do we get those? Well, that's where the unit section is going to come in handy. As you can see here, I have the team put in that I won the Chico ROC at Heroes Corner back in um, March uh, with and we're just gonna say Joker's one of the characters we need so we're gonna click Joker right that brought up this we'll click that image that brought up this we're gonna right click save image as um, that's fine the JW060 is fine and then we'll close this we'll go back we can upload choose um, we're gonna go up one level and there he is now <clears throat> you can drag and drop multiple images at once um, so that you can upload a ton um, you know you would just have your folder open drag and drop and it would upload a bunch but that's going to take longer to do so we're going to just drag joker onto our map now you got to resize them a little bit to fit the squares um, one thing another thing you can do is you can make these a png file which would remove the white background from joker and then you would just see joker so let's go ahead and zoom in so you can see what it looks like and you see we have a joker on the map. Um, I may have some already done like that where I took off the background, but anyway, you get the you get the idea, right? So you would just you know upload any characters, objects, action tokens you want to do um, here, and then you just drag and drop. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna right click. Or double click. We're gonna double click him, not right click, and we're gonna go name Joker. Show name plate so we can see what he's named, and then he's gonna be controlled by all players. And that way, I can move him, you can move him, whatever the case is. Game manager can move him, etc. And now you can see he's got a nice little name tag Joker. I can move him around the map. If somebody else is playing me, they could also move him around the map. And then you can do things like you can have this be his click number, click one, um, yeah, things like that. How much, you know, damage is taken, three, I don't know, three haha -ha tokens, whatever they're called. And there you go. So <clears throat> that's a really quick thing on how to. Put a map, put some characters on your thing, and then play a game. You would to play the game. You can do uh, 
let's see I know there's a oh, here's the link campaign so you can send that to somebody or you can tell I could private message Pat and say hey Patrick this is the uh, game name Patrick Y you can add I believe you can add passwords to it um, and then he can come and join and we can play our game now the really nice thing about this website is that it's basically all saved in real time and so if I wanted to leave this game and come back I could so let's close it and then we'll reopen roll 20 uh, let's go to Google and then we'll go okay roll 20 I'm still signed in you can see my game with Patrick Wise here um, I can join the game and it should be just like we left it no nope, I don't need to see that and boom there's our game um, real quick I guess I can show you how to drag and drop all your stuff that you wanted to um, well, where's our roll 20? Roll 20. Uh, let's say I want to drag and drop some of these images. Um, I would just go like this. Uh, these would be good. These are good popular things to have. And boom, now they're here. Now it's just a matter of resizing them, etc., etc. You can delete them. You can copy them. So copy and then I can make another joker here. So if I'm playing one and you're playing one, now we each have one. Um, like I said, this could be like, say, we'll backspace that. Let's say this is his action tokens. He has two action tokens. He's on click one. Um, things like that. All right, everybody. Um, other than that, you just join a friend and you guys play the game. I recommend connecting via Google Hangouts so you can actually talk in real time rather than typing. Um, the site does also have its own voice functionality but it's a little tricky at times so Google is a little more stable. So I would say do Google Hangouts and go ahead and try this out for yourselves. Thanks for watching guys. Remember the real fun begins when you're two clicks from KM.